And now, please welcome the French Minister of Ecology, Sustainable Development and Energy, Ségolène Royal, who joins Vice President Al Gore via satellite in Paris. Bonsoir, Minister Royal. Bon, bonjour, ici. Yes. Thank you, first. Thank you very much bonjour. for joining us. Um, I, I'm so grateful to you. I have five questions. First of all, in December of last year, yes. France and President Hollande exemplified leadership during COP21 and showed strength during the tragic terrorist attack that led up to the Paris Agreement, as did you. Mm -hmm. And the world owes truly a great debt to President Hollande's leadership and to his team. The Paris Agreement would not have been possible without the support and leadership shown by the French negotiators. And I want to thank you. And I want to ask you if you would tell us about the progress France has made coming out of COP21. <clears throat> Yes, first of all, thank you for inviting me to speak in this fantastic event. And thank you to you, Al Gore, for your commitment, for your courage, uh, for your presence during the COP21 in Paris. I would like to say that as president of COP21, uh, just after, just in the beginning of this year, my priority was to get the, uh, the ratified, to make this uh, agreement entering in force by ratifying all, all the countries. And on the 4th of November, the Paris agreements uh, get into force because 55 countries representing more than 55 emissions have ratified the Paris Agreement. It's a fantastic movement because, as you know, uh, the Protocol of Kyoto took seven years to be ratified. And then in 10 months, all the countries all around the world, and I, as we are today, 115 countries have ratified uh, and representing 90% uh, of the gas emissions. And each day, uh, I am walking, I am uh, calling, I am speaking, and yesterday I was in New York at the United Nations, and I met with uh, the ambassadors uh, coming from those countries, uh, which are not uh, ratified uh, just uh, t today, and then I asked them to ratify before the end of the year, because on the 12th on December, we have the first anniversary of the Paris Agreement, and this is fantastic. Bravo, incroyable, fantastic. Thank you. Second question. <laughs> France has been uh, impacted by various serious flooding this year. In addition to increased flooding, in what other ways is the climate crisis having an impact on France? On dryness, on uh, increasing the level of the sea all of the west coast of France, uh, of uh, differences between uh, a very warm uh, temperature and very cold temperature as all over the, the world. The differences are very strong, so it's very bad for biodiversity. And so we have to tackle this problem because now we are uh, very deeply impacted by uh, rewarming. Merci. My third question. With these increasing extreme weather events, is there also increasing awareness among the French people of the seriousness of this crisis and the need for further action? Yes, it is, and it is very spectacular because uh, just before uh, the, the COP21, when we asked uh, to people, is it important the rewarming? Is it important the climate problems? Only five or deep percent of uh, the people answered, yes, it is important. And now, a days, 
we have 80, more than 80% of French people saying that it is important, that they want more renewable energies, that they are very proud of Paris agreements, uh, that they want to do themselves something every day to uh, contribute uh, to the fight uh, of, against rewarming. And this is a spectacular change in one year. Mm. Ah. Well, that, that's uh, very meaningful. My fourth question. Given recent developments in the European Union, including the election in Italy yesterday, are you confident, or two days ago, are you confident that the European Union can move forward with its current commitments and even raise its ambitions? Not, um, not only I am confident, even it is difficult because we have very complex uh, the procedure and we have to adopt uh, the agreement ratify in each country and then uh, at the level of, of European Union. Uh, and I did it because the European Parliament voted uh, and each country, but not only, we have only 17 countries on, the, on 25 among 25 countries but uh, we it, it was uh, the ratifying of the european countries who made uh, the, the 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 basculement uh, towards the entering in force on the 4th november and now uh, as we can see uh, um, new speeches on skepticism about climate i think that the leadership of Europe is very, very important, even uh, if it is difficult. Why it is difficult? Because we don't have uh, the same energetic uh, model, uh, and we have to put together to share uh, the burden of fighting against uh, renewable. But we are doing this, we are working very hard and I think that we, we must take the leadership and be eg exemplary about uh, fighting against rewarming. That's very encouraging. My fifth and final question. Are you hopeful for continued global climate progress as we move forward? It's a fight. Of course, we, we can be optimistic, but it's a fight. And uh, every day it can go uh, down. So we have to fight as you, as you do, Al Gore, as you do fantastically, we have to fight every day. And uh, I have three major uh, subjects. Uh, I, about them, uh, I, I, made a, I, write, I wrote a report for the United Nations one is the problem of renewable energy in Africa. It is very, very important because uh, the countries who are going to develop don't adopt the same uh, things that we did with uh, fossil energy. It's very important so we have to give them the power to do differently as we did. Second, it's a problem of security and climate, and it's very linked between security and climate, especially when you see millions million of people uh, going, uh, changing of countries, south to south, because uh, they don't have water anymore, they don't have food anymore, and so on. And this is a very big problem, which can uh, aware the conscience uh, all around the world. And, and finally, I would like to, to point the problem of uh, women and climate. And I made several proposals about this subject because I think that women uh, who are the most uh, sh shocked by the rewarming are also the best solutions by acting. In closing, I want to say on a, on a personal note, it was my great joy to fight alongside you in Paris one year ago. Yes. I want you to convey my personal congratulations to President Hollande. History will honor his name for his achievement. And I yes. believe that soon people may well recognize 
the truly historic importance of the work that you did in securing final ratification of the treaty in only 10 months, this is actually more important than many people realized at the time and was actually a magnificent accomplishment. So thank you, merci beaucoup, and thank you for joining us on 24 Hours of Reality.